Okay, so now we're on the last one, number nine, and this says solve the drag and drop activity. So this activity has to do what we've been learning about, Google Classroom, getting to know it, and so forth. And so these questions are based off all those um, uh, videos that I have done before leading up to this, okay? Or that's all those videos led up to now this activity that you're going to do. So in order to do a drag and drop, you need to double click the image. Okay, so again, double tap. Okay, so once you double click on it, now right here, we're going to read the directions. It says grab the correct yellow box. So either this one or this one for this problem. And we're going to place it in the blue box. So I'm either going to place it here, this one. Okay, if it yes or no to correctly answer the problems. And we're, this is for A, B, and C. So right here it says, A, has this assignment, this is what it looks like on Google Classroom, has this assignment been turned in, okay? So either you're gonna select yes and drop it here, or you're gonna select no and drop it here, okay? Same thing for letter B, you're gonna look at this assignment, decide if it's been turned in yes or no, drop one of these in the box, and then same thing for C, do the same thing. Where do I turn in my assignments? Is it best to turn it on the stream, classwork, or the people section, okay? On Google Classroom. So pick one of these, drop it in the box. Okay, that's how you do for this one, A, B, and C. So I'm gonna pause for a second, or you can stop the video, and go ahead and attempt these three problems. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over the answers for A, B, and C. So do you see right here that this is gray? Gray means that assignment's done, it's been turned in, so I'm gonna say yes. So we're gonna drop that one in right here. Hopefully you were correct. Okay, the next one, has this assignment been turned in? So if it's a lighter color and it's not gray, because remember it could be a different color, it could be blue or anything, but as long as it's not grayed out, this assignment has not been turned in, okay? Only gray means it's been turned in. So has this one been turned in? You should have select no, okay? Next, where do I turn in my assignments? Hopefully after watching all my videos, you got in your head that the best place to turn it in is the classwork section, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click this one and we're gonna move it over here and that's what we're gonna pick, okay? Here's your last problem. We gotta place this red aerial right here, okay? That can move around. Where you need to click with your mouse to upload, turn in your assignment. So if you remember right here, you look, you gotta figure out how do I turn in my assignment? Where on here do I have to click for it to open up where eventually I can see the turn in assignment? Okay, am I clicking the title? Am I clicking here, here, or here? So go ahead and grab this and put next to where you think you have to click to be able to turn it in, okay? You decide right now. I'll wait just a second. Pause the video. Okay, so the place that you should have clicked is right here where it says view assignment. This is one of the most common mistakes I see students do. They don't click this button so they never see the turn in button, okay? And that's, uh, wait, and I should just show you that real quick. So um, so again, if I'm on Google Classroom, oops, I'm going to Google Drive. If I'm on Google Classroom right here, just to refresh your memory, it's always nice to kind of look. If we go right there on the classwork section, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. When you click right here, Okay, to turn it in, oh, this one says turned in, but if you didn't, if it wasn't turned in and just set assigned, you need to click view assignment because that's where this part shows up that allows you to turn it in or if you need to even change your assignment, okay? All right, that's it for number nine, thanks.